Hello, beautiful people. We're back again today. We are going to be going step by step with some products and some hair care for um, Malachi. And so, um, I'm going to be showing you guys basically the products I use for different from curly to straight of his hair. Like when I put his hair in a straight form, I will show you guys the products that I use. And then when I wanted to go back to the um, curly state, it's, it's different products that you use for his hair for curly and straight. You don't use the same products that you would use to get the straight, straight form like this. Like I have the straight form like this now. I can't use the curly hair product on it because it would not do well. And it's vice versa. The same thing if I want to have his hair in curly, the curly state, I cannot use the straight product, the products that make his hair straight. So basically that is what we're going to be doing. But Malachi and I, I allow him to wash his hair. Two days ago, if you guys care to please go look at the video, I allow him to wash it this time in the shower. And um, he done a little bit better washing it this time. So that is the whole key of trying to manage all of his hair for him to be able to manage it, to take care of it. Because it's no need of having long hair if you can't keep it healthy that's the most important thing to keep it healthy all right guys so we're gonna jump right into it okay as you can see this is a straighter form as you can see his hair is not curly if you ever go look at any of my videos you'll see his hair in the curly state but this time we have it in in the straight state of yeah just one second guys okay so um so yeah so that is what it is all right guys hold on just one second let me adjust the chair all right and these products here any if you have this type of hair or natural hair, you can probably use it. So this is what his hair look it looks like. I'm trying to adjust my camera, guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. Stand up for a minute and turn around for the camera, Malachi. Go back just once. You get too close. How they're gonna see it? You gotta be okay. This is what um, his hair look. Hold your head up. This is what it, hold your head up. Normal. Normal. This is what it looks like now, right now. And the, as you can see in the straight form, the length, the length that it gives when it's um, more in the straight form than in the, than with it being curly, the length is it extends it very long it's almost to his hip of his buttocks but anyway okay i just wanted to show you guys that okay and so now we're going to jump right into it the product that i use is very simple anybody can um purchase these this is the coconut oil. I normally don't buy this coconut oil from Dollar General. I bought this one here this time because Walmart was closed the night that he needed to wash his hair. But I normally get the organic coconut oil. And it's, yes, it's just this here. The coconut oil. And this is what I normally get in the organic at Walmart, but I bought this one this time from um, from Dollar General. This is just regular coconut oil. 
to get his hair in the straight form and to keep it straight, I use coconut oil and I also use castor oil. Either or, I don't use both of them at the same time if I'm out of one or whichever one I choose. But you use one, one or the other for the straight, the straight form of his hair. And for the um, curly, I use Cantu. This is what we use when we want to get it curly, really curly. The Curl Activator Cream from Cantu, if you guys can see it here, it does really good. And this is also you could get from Walmart, the, Can the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. Is what is what I normally get. Go and take her out of here. Is what I normally get with curls. It says for curls, coils, and waves, smooths, adds shine, and defines curls. And it does a great job too. As you can see, it says the kind for style. So, remember guys, this one is for curly. When I want to put his hair back in the curly form and not straight. So, alright, we're going to jump right into it. And now, I have to just plait his hair up. Because if, I'm, if I don't put it in some plaits and leave it like this, it'll start getting tangled. And it'll be hard to manage. So... I have to break it down and go ahead and put it in three plaques to keep it manageable for the whole month or for two, three weeks until it's time for us to wash it, allow him to wash it again. Because I don't know, Malachi hair just, it tangles so bad sometimes. And that is the part that just frustrates me. Hold your head up. It frustrates me a lot because it does tangle a lot. And so this is what we're doing. I'm just parting it now. And I just normally grease his scalp. Hold your head up. And even with him being a boy, this is the part that I'm just telling you every time it seems like I'm so frustrated and tired because I am. <laughs> because he don't, um, he's going to eventually have to get it cut. Because he doesn't manage, he doesn't know how to manage it well enough. And to me, like I said again, what's the purpose of having long hair if it's not healthy? That is the key. You need, it should be healthy, not just to have long hair, but it should be a healthy head of hair. <laughs> and as you can see, his hair is, it was damaged back here about two years ago. It was really damaged. And so we basically, I have cut it, trimmed it, Kept the scalp and got it back healthy the way that it should be. It still have a few spots where it's not as healthy, but it's getting there. But yes, as you can see, this is this is again what it looks like. This hair it looks like. Mm hmm. And we're just I'm just gonna rub my hand in some of this and it just sometimes it just it melts right in your it melts right in the scalp and all you have to do is just rub it because mm. I normally keep it in the refrigerator like if it's too too hot for room temperature I normally keep this coconut oil in the refrigerator so it would won't melt too much. And then sometimes I even have put it in the freezer. And so how I, what I do is, if I need to use it like now, I'll just heat up some water in a bowl and sit it. 
And you might see some pieces falling on him now. But if you just take the brush and it'll rub right in. It'll just rub right in. So it's no it's no big deal. Because this coconut oil here, it melts really easy. If it's frozen. So that's just a piece falling. Because it was frozen. I had it frozen. And you see how, guys how easy and it is to manage his hair like this. Like now, if you watch some of our previous videos, his hair is just so much better to manage when it's in the straight form. It tangles so bad when it's in the curly form. But when it's in the straight form like this, so much better. So much more manageable. As well. So. I'm going to just put. It's not going to be long. I'm not going to take up a whole lot of you guys time. Because I know a lot of people sometimes ask me. What do I use on his hair? And I've also seen a lot of people, too, that don't take care of the ends of your hair. Like when I shampoo his hair and I brush it through, I brush his hair with conditioner all the way through to the ends. So the ends won't be so damaged and frizzy as well. Yeah, as you guys can see, one plate. You guys stand up. Wait. No. It was just so much easier. I'm telling you, it was just so much easy, <laughs> easier to manage. when it's straight. So different occasions brings like now as you guys can see I put some and then I just smash it. And it's only like this now because like I said um I didn't let it um unthaw enough because I actually had it in the freezer because it's been very hot here, even with air conditioning. It's been very hot these last um, few days. And you can also melt it if you want to make it just like an oil as well, too. The melt the coconut oil, the melt it. But I just set it in some very hot water for it to um, unthaw it some. And like now, it's just melting. It's eventually melting. And I'm just putting some on the ends of this hair as well. So, yes. Woo! I just knocked the water over. <laughs> I have water up here. And that's, that's another thing too, guys. When his hair is in, when you use it, the, the Cantu for the curly state, when it's in the curly form, I also use a spray bottle to spray his hair with water. But when it's in the straight form, I don't have to use spray bottle to spray it. I don't need to use spray bottle because if I put water on his hair when it's in the straight form, what do you guys think is going to happen? If you got this type of hair and you got it in a straight form like this and you spray the water on it, the water bottle, and you spray it, yes, it's going to turn back into curly. No, that's what most people that got this type of hair do. It'll just go back into the curly state. 
And I don't want, we don't want that because we're wearing it in the straight, in the straight form right now, not curly. So yes, that's another thing with the curly form. I um spray it with the spray bottle, the water bottle. Just parting it. And this will be the back plate here. This will be the back plate. As you guys can see. Now you can see the shine. The coconut oil gives this coconut oil gives a really a really good shine to. That is another thing that I like about it. And you really, to me, like I said, depending on your hair type, this is just for Malachi's. I normally don't use the Dollar General one. The one at um, Walmart, the organic, great value organic coconut oil is the one I normally use. But this one is proven to do okay. It's okay. But the one in Walmart, it costs a little more. It's like nine, almost nine dollars for the same size as this one. And this one is only four dollars. So of course, maybe the better product, depending on your hair grade. But for his hair grade, it's doing okay. I see a little shine actually. I see a little shine actually coming to his hair with it. So that's why I'm saying it's, it depends on your hair grade of how the product worked as well, too. But this is the Dollar General brand again, and it's proven to do okay. But I can tell that the one from Walmart, the organic one from Walmart, it works a little bit better to control the frizz and flyaways and stuff because he do have some frizz a little bit here. I guess it's like a better, a better form of coconut oil. Turn the one in on Walmart. But yes, this one is doing okay. It's getting the job done. So. This is what I just wanted to share with you guys of the products that I use on his hair from in the curly form when his hair is curly to make it curly and the products that I use on it to make it straight. They are two, they are different products. I can't use the same products for curly and straight. I have to use different products. And it also took a long time of trial and error with his hair because you got to think about his hair has been like this ever since he was born, pretty much. And I noticed that he was starting to take his dad's hair texture. So I knew all the products that I use on 4C hair, which is mine. I cannot use on this type of hair. And to be truthful, you guys, please tell me down in the comments. That's why I ask you guys to please watch the video through. You guys, please tell me down in the comments, what type of hair is this that you think that he have? What do y'all call it? Because like I said, I'm a Gen X. I'm just now getting familiar with all these names of Oh, you got 4C hair. I know I got very coarse hair. And when they look at it, they tell me I got 4C hair. But for Malachi, I know it's it's not this type 4C. So you guys let me know in the comments what type of hair does he have so I'll know.
you guys tell me because I know you guys on the internet and here know better than I do. You know, y'all keep up with a lot of these things. I know sure better than me. Okay, stand up. Stand up. So yeah, so you guys just um, like I said, if you guys can just let me know in the comments, please, what type of hair do you think he have? Because I don't think it's definitely, definitely, I don't think it's full C hair like mine. I don't know what they would call it, 4A, or I don't even know the numbers and the, and the letters for the textures that, you know, how they even came up with the type of her, you know, on what to call it. So, you guys just let me know down in the comments, please. This is where we're almost done. This is the last one. I'm just putting it through. And then some people say, why you don't never braid his hair? He's claimed that he gonna uh, go to a um, salon in my home state that allow some of the girls that do hair really good at these shops to, um, to braid his hair up. With, all, with one of these good styles. That's what he claimed. But he's so tender headed. We'll see how that go. We definitely going to see. How that, that's going to work out. Because he's never been to. An actual salon. Salon. He's been to barber shop. Where he's actually got a haircut. He has got a haircut before at Edgewood. And we have actually cut his hair down to shoulder length before. But as you can see, it's grown back by now. So, all right, stand up and look in the camera so they can see the end result. Go ahead so they can see. Oh, sweet. All right, guys, this is, hold on. See, bend down the seat. This is the end result here, guys, of the um, hair. So, as you can see, it looks very decent. All right, guys, thank you, and we'll um, be posting, like I said, every day, so you guys, please go like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notification bells every time um, we post a video.